Last year, a half billion eggs were recalled. The industry mantra remained, stop whining, completely cooked is completely safe. Notice, though, they never tell you what completely cooked means. Research funded by the egg industry itself found that salmonella can survive scrambled, over-easy, and sunny-side-up cooking methods. Sunny-side-up was the worst. The paper ends bluntly. The sunny-side-up method should be considered unsafe. Maybe the best-kept secret within the egg industry. They know it's unsafe, but are they out there warning customers? Of course not. And this wasn't uh, you know, funded by some consumer group, some anti-egg group, but by the American Egg Board itself. Earlier research shows salmonella can survive in omelets, and French toast as well. Even boiling eggs up to eight minutes straight may be insufficient to eradicate the threat. Bottom line, if there are high enough titers of salmonella, no standard cooking method provides complete salmonella destruction. Fine, but what if you do boil all your eggs for 10 minutes? Right? Even if you incinerate them, buying eggs is not completely safe, and this is why. Before you reduce your eggs safely to ash, salmonella can get on your fingers, your kitchen utensils, and sometimes stays there even after washing. No one in their right mind would eat raw eggs these days, but you whip up a cake batter, and salmonella can end up on your counter 40 centimeters away from the mixing bowl, and then it just sits there, and could still potentially infect someone touching that kitchen surface a day later. So the day after you bake a cake all the way through, heck, you could burn the cake, and still someone in our family could end up in the hospital grabbing an apple sitting on the counter.